All right, YouTube, uh, I know it's gloomy out, but I wanted to give you an update on my Vitus um, slash Mavic type of clone. Uh, this is a 400 millimeter, not the 320 or 330 millimeters of the Mavic and stuff like that. But um, as I said in the other video, you can um, use standard ESCs and motors. So that's 30 amp ESCs. Um, I think they're 920 kV motors and a regular um, 5,000 milliamp battery. Uh, things I got to do still, I got to figure out where I'm going to put these antennas. I got to get a different type of um, 900 megahertz antenna. I just have this here for now so that I can use Mission Planner to um, program it. That's why I put this hole there. I should have put the telemetry in there and then um, sealed it up and then I could just use that telemetry to to modify it but and then not have to use the USB port but wasn't thinking. So I just cut a hole there for now. Um, Got to figure out where to put this antenna. This I might just fold down and have it alongside here. And um, we'll see. These actually moved up some in the, in the design. And I'm also thinking about putting a 5.8 mini um, clover leaf down here to stick out and then just extend the feet a little. So that would give all my antenna somewhere, you know, somewhere to go. And uh, my next video, I'll probably have the gimbal going and um, either a run cam or a Mobius to uh, to go ahead and run my live video. All right, so we'll go ahead and open it up. So we'll open the back arms and then the front. There you go, that's it. And then the feet fold down, click in. You're ready to go. So I'll go ahead and uh, unfold the propellers and we'll take it up. These are 10 inch props. I'll send a link uh, whenever I do the STL files with everything that I put inside here. All right, so I have a 3D fix. I don't know if you can see this. I don't have a screenshot on here, but it should be ready to go. All right, so we'll turn on our transmitter. Look over. And it says armed, and the motors are spinning. All right, so here we go. This is my second flight with it. First flight I did, I did a auto tune because I'm using APM. Could use a little more tuning, but um, pretty stable. So I'll go ahead and uh, bring it back. I'll go in alt hold. This is what it looks like. So we'll try GPS. I'll, I'll get it out in front just in case. Let's get away from the sun. So I have my third one for a GPS. So that's going to take some fixing. Well, we'll see what it wants to do. I think it's staying put. Nope, drifting a little. Still drifting. I'm not, I haven't touched it yet. I'm trying to see if it finally sits in somewhere. 
Let's take it up a little. Nope, doesn't like it. So, I mean, it's just some things that you're, you're going to have issues with with any APM. has nothing to do with the 3D printed quad. Uh, i got to figure out what to do with the GPS, uh, where I'm going wrong. Uh, that's about it. Um, I'll just fly it around for a little bit, uh, let you watch it. We'll bring it down some. Cause, I mean, that's the real thing is what does it look like in the air? And uh, later on, the thing will be how does it function with a camera and gimbal. I'll show you how fast it is. And um, I was kind of concerned about the arms possibly folding back uh, when you punch it. But I haven't had that issue. And I'll show you. No problems with speed. Arms haven't folded back. Get out of the sun again. But I do have, um, I think, three of those ball. Um, I'll put a link in there also. The, the link will be for everything that I used. But this is all in all hold. And I'll show you uh, how fast it goes. We'll put it in regular. Um, so it's not in all hold right now. So this is only a 3S battery, and I'll show you that it has plenty of power. You ready? And I'm not, and the folding props doesn't seem to be a problem. <clears throat> I'll do another punch. Bring it down. Get it stable. Whoa. Need some tuning. <laughs> but you can see it has plenty of power. Uh, this is just my second flight. It needs to be tuned. Uh, but that's it so far. Um, looking pretty good. So if you like uh, the quad, if you want to print one yourself, uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, leave a comment. Please let me know um, what I can do better. I printed this in Tinkercad, so that's why it took so long. I don't know how to do 3D software, so it took forever in Tinkercad to do this. So if you got better antennas, I'm thinking about uh, 900 megahertz, 915 megahertz, uh, helical, um, helical or whatever antenna. Looks like a little spring for my... Um, telemetry and again that mini clover leaf for the um, FPV but uh, if you got better ideas let me know also I'm going to hook a Bluetooth module up to the telemetry uh, for my home home um, for, to hook to my phone so that I can have I can use tower beta and have my FPV and telemetry going uh, at the same time on one app so that's that's why I'm using APM is just so that I can use that um, telemetry feature and FPV feature that um, I don't know any other um, quad flight controllers that allow you to do both try uh, GPS again so yeah there it is alright thanks for watching